Welcome to the kingdom. So Minister Kim, I have one last question to ask you. What are the mental and emotional issues primarily affecting people in 2023? So um, I guess for, in my opinion, of what I've been seeing and um, experiencing uh, is mainly uh, depression, mm. anxiety, um, suicidal ideation. Mm. Um, yeah. what, what exactly is that? What exactly is suicidal ideation? What exactly is that? It's uh, suicide, uh, suicidal thoughts or, oh, wow. you know, things that, yeah, those kind of intrusive thoughts that we have and, you know, just thinking about it. And, um, yeah, so that's one of the things that's kind of been a, a primary uh, thing that I've been seeing. And I have to just kind of refer that, uh, you know, preface that by saying that I've been seeing. Yeah. I'm sure so many other things, but I've also been seeing um, uh, some mood disorders, mm. personality disorders, but I think that some of the things that I've been seeing, um, like the depression and all of that, it seems like it stems from um, just, um, I guess, the, the overlapping or um, coming out on the other side of yeah. the pandemic. So. Yeah. Some yeah. of those residual issues that we were having during the pandemic. Yeah, that's what I was curious about as to whether or not that these things was holdovers from the pandemic. Mm -hmm. Because I know during the pandemic, anxiety and a whole lot of things just went through the roof. You know what I mean? And I was just wondering if, if this is still the, uh, you know, the leftovers from the pandemic. You know what I mean? Things that's left over from the pandemic. Yeah. Yeah. Some of it is. Um, a lot of it is, I would have to say. And then, like when we're talking about, we still have uh, the things like the school shootings, yeah. the uh, financial, you know, ups and downs, right. that, you know, banking and all of that. And so there is a lot of panic out there that's, you know, causing our anxiety um, to be high at a higher level. Mm -hmm. And believe it or not, COVID is still out there. Yeah. You know? Yeah. I don't, I don't know about you guys, but I still hear... Um, from time to time, uh, uh, you know, stories and effects from uh, long COVID as well as just COVID. Um, so, yeah, those are some of the things that's primarily still there for us. Amen. Amen. Okay, so let me ask you this. Is the current economic crisis impacting clients you see today? Um, <laughs> those that have a lot of money. <laughs> <laughs> just you know when it comes to this economics you know and i mean it's just to, to be honest with you is if it's not economics it's catastrophe if it's not that it's uh shooting sprees if it's not that it's um something you know it's always something you know what i mean so i i just want to say i'm glad as a pastor that we are that we have people like yourself alongside us you know what i mean because to me and i'm glad to have you as part of the kingdom because while I primarily preach the gospel and pray for God's people, I'm glad that on the practical side of things, we have somebody such as yourself in the house, you know what I mean, in case they need that safe place and that safe space where they can come and talk to somebody because sometimes it just helps to talk, you know what I mean? Would you agree with that? It just helps to talk and to have somebody to listen to, I mean, to listen to what you're dealing with. Would you say you agree with that? Yes, absolutely. And sometimes I think just through the conversation, a person can find out that they're not the only one that's going through it. Um, and so that helps, I think, to know that, you know, you you can get the support, you know, that you need even just by a conversation sometimes. Mm, wow. Wow. Because I know 
um, back at our old church at the Christian House of Prayer, um, we had established something called the multitude of counselors. Now, we weren't professionals like you were, and they, when they came to the church for counseling, uh, they were required to sign a statement saying that we weren't psychiatrists or anything like that. But I know primarily most of our time was spent counseling people. You know what I mean? That what I spent most of my time doing. And I know this was years ago. You know what I mean? So I was just wondering from now, from then to now, you know what I mean? I can only imagine what you guys deal with. So again, I just want to say to you and to our kingdom family and to those that's in our area, I'm glad that you're a member of the kingdom and that you have availed yourself to the kingdom and your services are available. Amen. Thank you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So again, beloved, we want to say to you, join us again for our last episode. And uh, we're just blessed uh, that you've joined us on all these episodes. And we pray that something that you've heard, whether it's from Minister Kim or ourselves, may encourage you. Here's, here's the bottom line of why we're talking to you about this. It's okay to talk to somebody. Yes. That's the bottom line. It's okay to talk to somebody. I'm a preacher. That's what I do. You know what I'm saying? But it's okay to go to a minister camp or someone and to talk to somebody. Remember, one of Jesus' name was counselor. So it's okay. Love, peace, and blessings, beloved.